third week of November 2016. Nemesis, the brown dwarf star or dark star of the Nibiru Planet X system, was recently photographed with wings. This would imply that the system is most likely inside the orbit of Jupiter because comets do not develop tails or wings until they reach this orbit. Recent analysis and observations indicate that the dark star appears to be just beyond the orbit of Mars. So the Nemesis Nibiru system would then have to be at the edge of our inner solar system. Many of you have suspected for some time that the world's elite are monitoring its incoming invasion into our solar system. They are preparing underground shelters and are ready to move when the time seems imminent. They know from their own observations that the Nemesis Nibiru passage is approaching. Changes to the Earth and Sun as well as across our solar system are becoming more frequent and intense as I had indicated in my previous videos from 2016. There are two very significant changes which I have emphasized are now taking place. They include the fluctuating magnetic field which now indicates a major weakening of the geomagnetic field according to uh, orbiting satellite data and the other being increased energy output translating into greater heat causing rising temperatures. Some of the warning signs are now ongoing including strange red skies at both sunset and sunrise, strange daytime halos around the sun, and strange red glows emanating from the aurora borealis. These atmospheric anomalies are being caused by the incoming Nemesis Nibiru system. Of greater importance is the concerns of major West Coast earthquakes happening along the predominant fault lines which recently spewed large amounts of carbon monoxide. NASA satellites in space began detecting staggering large emissions of carbon monoxide gas along the West Coast. As evidenced by this image, the emissions were far too big, too highly concentrated and covered too vast an area to be man-made. On the satellite image, the areas in black, purple, and brownish-orange show the magnitude of the emission. It was utterly massive. In addition, the ground in the Los Angeles, California area has been shifting sideways as pictured in this image provided in this March 5th article. Another sign that something catastrophic will occur within a particular time frame is the fact that a number of underground sanctuaries, estimated to be around 1,500 worldwide, are mostly ready and stocked for what is to come. Russia has just completed 5,000 underground shelters around Moscow, which confirms that they are already prepared for an event of considerable magnitude. The United States of America has at least 150 or more stocked and ready. In addition, there are more than 1,400 seat vaults worldwide. But the biggest world doomsday seed vault is the elite's global seed vault located in Norway. Also across America, cities of refuge are being created. The following images are provided by our Facebook followers as well as channel subscribers. They are submitted by both sky watchers and amateur astronomers who wish to share their concerns about Planet X. As I have always said, you can determine the validity of these photo and video renderings on an individual basis, but please try to respect the sincerity of all those who want to share 
what they genuinely believe they have seen and witnessed. Here now, as I conclude this video presentation, are this week's incredible images and video captures of the Nibiru Nemesis system. And finally, it is important to emphasize just how devastating and utterly bizarre the Earth's weather has become. Climate change is virtually out of control with no signs of subsiding anytime soon. Check out this amazing video footage of the floods that have wreaked havoc on northern Italy in the wake of torrential rain in November. This comes just two weeks after Italian scientists warned that climate change has put much of the country at risk of flooding.
Pressure is building with the titanic plates, and seismic activity is picking up pace, with another large quake registering 7 striking Central America on November 24th, just days after a massive earthquake devastated a portion of New Zealand. Snow falling in Tokyo on November 24th. It is the first time since records began in 1875 that snow has been observed accumulating on the ground in central Tokyo in November. And how about this rare twister moving across the desert in Saudi Arabia on November 23rd? On the same date, this magnificent fireball exploded over the skies of Florida. These events, as disturbing as they may seem, or as devastating as they may be, are warning signs that the earth is in turmoil and the sky is about to reveal the wonders of our universe. It is indeed a time of tribulation in anticipation 